what's up, how's it going? Welcome to this episode of Leave Curious. This is an episode called Tree Talks where I dive into trees and this tree today is gonna to be the silver birch. Probably one of the most distinctive features of the silver birch is its bark. It's this silvery cracking bark. In young trees it's a bit smoother but as a tree gets older it starts to become, it's been described as corky before, but it begins to develop these fissures which go all the way up the tree. So another way of identifying the silver birch is by its leaf shape. It's a triangular shape with a toothed margin. Silver birches don't really have a dense branch structure. They have this like nice light and airy canopy. They often sway in the wind. And what with it having a light and open canopy, it makes it great for all of the understory of the woodland to grow beneath it. Albeit this one is on the edge of the woodland. You'll find in most birch woodlands that the understory, all of this growing here, is able to go up and get to a really nice height. If you run your fingers down the twigs of the silver birch, you'll feel that it's actually really quite smooth in comparison to the bark. Like many trees, the silver birch can support hundreds of insects. The silver birch is also a tree which has been known as a symbol of purity. And you can see why, especially on a calm day like today with its white stem going up and its gentle branches. This one looks to be in fairly good condition, although someone's put what appears to be like I don't know, like a little pigeon box in there, like a little bird box, dove box. Some threats which can affect this tree, there's an insect called the bronze birch borer which gets in behind the bark and it just balls away at the tree and it can cause a yellowing of the leaves and it can deteriorate the tree and in some cases even kill the tree. Yeah, the silver birch, it's one of my favourite trees. Get out there and see if you can spot one. Remember the leaves are these little triangular shapes with the serrated edges. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're into trees and the environment and anything to do with wildlife, please subscribe to the video. Don't forget to like it and say hi down in the comments.